Hey everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV. Today I am gonna show you the Ross Monster Baja. Now it's not a truck camper, it's not a van camper, it's, well, a Ross Monster. Now this Baja can be built on any truck. It can be on a Ford, Chevy, GM, Ram, any heavy duty truck. This one is a 2022 GMC 3500 Duramax diesel. The hard shell pop-up puts this in a class of its own. It has off-grid features, luxurious styling, and off-road capabilities, making this a really great expedition vehicle. We at Princess Craft truly believe the products at Ross Monster compare in features and values to any of the big names in the expedition vehicle market. Go ahead, stack this Ross Monster Baja up next to the global expedition vehicles, earth cruisers, Earth Roamers, Bliss Mobile, and any of the others you can think of. The capabilities, the amenities, the equipment, it's all there. But the price of admission is more than competitive. If you're not familiar with the Expedition vehicle market, stick around. You might be surprised what this Ross Monster Baja can do. Now remember, features and options, they can always change. The inside, it is hand-picked so materials can change. You can choose the walls, the countertops, the cabinets, anything that you like. Everyone is unique. There is so much to see in this Ross Monster Baja. Let's go inside and get started. So there is a little bit of a duck coming in here, but once you're inside, this feels so open. Six foot nine is the height here. So I'm five foot tall, plenty of room for me, but even somebody taller. Modern styling, really nice feel in here. This has the black countertop. And as I said, the interior can always be customized. Bamboo cabinetry in this. Um, and a, a gray toned wall. It just gives this a real light, airy, kind of a earthy feel. I think it goes great with the green metallic on the outside. Again, all of this can be customized. The kitchen area on the left has the two burner induction stove. Of course, it is a flat top, so it could strictly be countertop if you're not cooking on it. The counter space, a little limited here, but look at that nice fold up, giving you a huge working space. Now it's got a little clip on the bottom to fold it down. Very easy to do. Let's take a look here. The handles are a real nice magnetic type that pull closed, so they're always flush. I love the ball bearing drawers, soft close. You've got three drawers here on the side. This isotherm refrigerator, it is a 12 volt refrigerator. Some great space in here, two shelves on the drawer and a pull down freezer. Storage at the top goes all the way around. Let's take a look. It is just a pull catch on it. The props hold it open. Now this space is about 12 inches deep, but like I mentioned, there are one, two, three, eight cabinets at the top. That's quite a bit of storage here. Pull that down again, a soft, easy close on that. Across from that is the sink and a little more countertop here. Again, beautiful styling. There is a sink cover here. Now it is a beautiful wood piece. You know, most of the time that's a cutting board, but I am thinking I would not use that as a cutting board. Just a nice cover here. This is a really heavy duty stainless steel sink, about 10 inches deep. It does have the tray inside for, you know, draining dishes, rinsing vegetables, just about anything you wanna use it for. A really beautiful single handled faucet with pull out sprayer here. Drops right back in and put this cover back on, and you've got another great work surface right here. Underneath the top drawer here, I mean, this just begs to be a utensil drawer. And underneath that, 
There is some storage under here. There is a little bit of hoses and wiring, but plenty of space for storing some things. The same under here. What you'll see under here, of course, is the bottom of the sink and the 30 gallon fresh water tank. I like the fact that it is so accessible down here in case you need to check it and storage space in between. You also have on the front of that tank, the four monitors to tell you how much water is left in it. I want to point out that there are three plugs in this area. There is one under this cabinet right above the countertop, the other one on the other side above the countertop, and one underneath the dinette. Now all these 110 plugs also have USB plugs built into them. Very convenient in all the right places. Now right behind me is the wet bath. This has aluminum walls, single light at the top. Now it's a fairly small space, but it does the job. This is a nature's head composting toilet. They are amazing. If you're not familiar with composting toilets, they can go a very long time without having to be dumped and they really don't smell. They have some great features. So you should check that out if you're interested in maybe something a little different. The composting toilet can move out and then you have a nice open shower, the handheld uh, sprayer right there for you. You have the wood slats on the floor and the single handheld sprayer for the shower. Now this curtain rolls down and Velcro's on the edges to create a seal. Great feature. Up above me is the air conditioner. It's a Dometic RTX 2000. That's a 12 volt air conditioner. And before you get a little worried with the bank of batteries on this unit and the solar, they actually advertise that it can run for 36 hours. It's been tested on this particular unit and run between 40 and 50 hours on eco mode in the hot Texas sun. That's pretty incredible. All right, let's keep going. Behind me is the queen bed. It is only 74 inches long, but a full 60 inches wide. A really nice foam mattress up here. Plenty of height between the mattress and the ceiling and windows up there at the front that are gonna open to give you that cross breeze. And of course, a power vent above you. All of that, great features. You do have a 110 plug with the USBs down here at this end as well. So a nice comfy space up there for sleeping. The ladder right behind me makes it super easy to get up there in the bed area and back down again. And of course, you may have noticed there is an easy pass through into the truck. This rolls down to close it off. It is insulated. So if you're traveling and you want to keep the noise down and maybe keep the air conditioning from the vehicle up front, very easy to lower this, zip it down and you're separated. But it's a nice pass through. It kind of makes it feel like a van, like a class C. Going back and forth might be great when you're traveling. Okay, I wanna show you this panel at the end of the cabinet because that is the controls for almost everything on this unit. Let's take a look. The first thing I notice there's only three small panels up here. Now the one on the top left, this is for raising and lowering the pop top. Couple of different ways to operate it, but it's super slick. If you turn it to the left or right, it's gonna be minor adjustments up and down, but just touch the corners and it's go, gonna go up and down. See how easy that is? I'll show you the top going up and down at the end of the video. Now with the top down, you can use a lot of the features in here. You can see it's a little over five foot tall with the top down, pretty comfortable. Over here on the right, the Victron battery monitor. If you're familiar with Victron, you know they do a really slick uh, unit here that will tell you how much battery you're using, how it's charging, what's in it at that moment, but it does have an app that's gonna give you all the details on your phone if you'd like that. That really allows you to take advantage of everything on this unit. There are 600 amp hours of lithium batteries. There's 600 watts of solar on the roof, 3000 watt inverter. So that battery monitor gives you all the information you need to keep everything running. Down below, this panel is especially made 
for Ross Monster, so it doesn't have anything on it that maybe doesn't work like you see in a lot of units. Uh, it is a touch screen, very simple to use. If you start at the home, you've got up here an on and off for the lights, a few basic things to turn on the water heater. On the right, you can see how much water is in the fresh water tank, uh, some temperature readings down here, and of course your battery reading. As you go down, the next panel is going to give you the full scope of the lights. Let's talk about the lights for just a second. The way the lights are designed here, you have four lights above the bed area. You have six dome lights here, kind of recessed in the ceiling of the top. Recessed lights above the cabinets and recessed lights below the cabinets and more under the toe kick of the cabinets. That gives you such indirect lighting. And did I mention, it's all dimmable. So you can really create the ambiance that you want in here. All of that is controlled right here on the light panel. The dome lights, the toe kick, the shower light, very easy. Just click them on and off. These lights are gonna go on and off, or if you hold it down, it will dim the lights. Nice porch light on the outside there. So really easy. Up at the top, there's the master that just turns them off and on. I love that setup. I love anything that's easy. Below that, you're gonna see the controls for the Aqua Hot. The Aqua Hot runs off the diesel in the truck and it's gonna control your hot water and your heat. Some features that I really like about this is that it provides a nice even heat. It's quiet but it even has a night mode to make it even more quiet when you're sleeping. Now you can of course run the heat without the hot water or vice versa. It is all right here in your controls. Very simple to use. Go down just a little bit more. You can see your fridge, turn on the water pump and the battery heaters. So this is considered a four season vehicle. So to keep those batteries charging in freezing weather, you're gonna want a heater and that is right up here on your controls. Keep them warm so they can take a charge and keep working for you. Down below, you've got the settings. This is a little difficult to understand until you start to play with it. It's gonna set the controls on here, whether you want centigrade or Fahrenheit. It's gonna connect your mobile app, do some diagnostics, uh, set the time on it, just a few things like that that need to be done. Anyway, I'd like to point out that this is just a simple operation on this touch screen. Very easy to understand. You'll love that feature here because nobody wants to learn anything complicated. You just want it to work, right? All right, let's scoot back just a bit and take a look at this seating area here. This seating area back here is very comfortable for four people. And since two people can sleep on this dinette that turns into a bed, four people can sleep in this camper as well. The leather on this seating is so soft and comfy. Again, this can be designed to be whatever it is that suits you. The table is a lagoon table, so it's gonna move around to go wherever you need it to. It's easy to disassemble and get out of your way altogether if you just wanted open seating sofa. Remember, there's a plug right here in case you wanna do some work at the table, need to plug in your computer, anything like that. Now, all the equipment that we've talked about is mounted underneath these seats. Underneath this seat right here is gonna be the remaining 30 gallon water tank and the water pump. The Aqua Hot, which is your furnace and your hot water heater, right here underneath, and the power bank is on the far side. It's gonna have the 3000 watt inverter and the 600 watts of lithium batteries, all on that side right there, easily accessible underneath the seating. This rig really works great in any temperature. You have air conditioning on the top, runs off the batteries, and then you've got the furnace underneath this seat, but sometimes you just want to open the windows. You've got the five windows on the top, that are gonna slide open, but maybe it's drizzling. These lower windows open a little differently. Just undo the handles here, push it open. You hear a click, it's gonna catch. 
It's going to give you a nice open breeze, even if it's drizzling outside. Just nicely done to give you the visibility and the cross breeze. On top of that, there's a high powered fan in the ceiling. That's going to create a huge breeze in here by just opening those windows. You know, they really have included all of the best features in this rig. I love being in here. I wish I could take it out, try it out, but maybe later. Let's go outside. There's so much to see out there. Let's take a look. The method wheels and the off-road tires are an upgrade from what came on the truck originally, of course. Now, the Max Tracks, the recovery boards that are mounted on the side, they give it a rugged look. They're really useful if you get in a tough situation, but maybe when you get to your campsite, they double as a nice table on the outside. Great place for uh, maybe fixing a meal, setting your beer, I don't know, you'll think of something. The triangle storage on the back takes advantage of every inch out here. They have added this to the Molly panel, but you see it's a really huge storage space, about two and a half feet deep. You do have two more Molly panels. Now these are custom made for Ross Monster, but they'll hold all the gear that you wanna add here. There is a hitch mounted on the back. Now that hitch could be a cargo tray to carry some extra gear, or you could of course tow a trailer. Now you might need an extension or remove the box either way. You do have these bright LED lights on the back, very useful there. And around this side, that's the water port. That is where you're gonna fill your 30 gallon fresh water tank. In front of this, the spray port, now this is hot and cold water with the curled hose that you simply attach and detach. Um, very handy if you wanna hose off at the beach, um, wash your dishes out here, just about anything. As I mentioned, this is the 3500 GMC Duramax diesel, Allison transmission. It is ready to take you anywhere you wanna go with the four wheel drive. Now on the front, there is the 60 inch LED lights on the front. Really nice if you're in a dark spot trying to find your way off the beaten path, that's gonna be one of your best friends. 12,000 pound winch on the front built into this custom bumper. Now on this side, I wanna point out the Fiamma awning. It opens up, gives you a beautiful outside space. Very easy, very simple to do. This truck can take you anywhere you wanna go. Once you lower the roof down, you've got that low profile that you're looking for if you're getting off the beaten path and less wind drag. I know a setup like this is a big departure from typical RVing, but hopefully you've enjoyed being wowed by something purpose-built and very unique like this. I'm inspired. This could take me more places than I've ever dreamed of safely and in style. I have to wonder how you feel about the Ross Monster Baja. Is this your first peek into the Expedition Vehicle segment? You'll have to tell us in the comments. There is always something new to show you, so thanks once again for joining us. I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV, and we'll see you next time.